In this section, we're going to be talking about a couple more solid primitive shapes, namely the tube and the torus shape. I'm going to expand my top viewport again here for a little more room. Go into my solid tool panel. I'll move it out of our way real quickly. This is the tube, and there's the torus. Now, these are slightly similar in that they have a hollow center. As you can see, the tube is basically a cylinder with the center cut out, and the torus is more like a ring or donut shape. I'll left-click my tube. We start with the diameter, which can be anything. Once I left-click there, then I need to pick a second diameter. Now what this is is the thickness of my tube. As you can see, when I get farther away, it gets thicker, closer, it's thinner. So if I click here, and now it wants me to choose my length. I can rotate this around the center point as I like, and then just stop when I'm comfortable with the direction and the length of my tube. So I'll stop about here. And let's take a look with our shaded preview. So there's our tube. Now again, the tube shape, when I use the tool, vertical diameter, three-point tangent, and a round curve. These are all options or variations in how I can create my tube. If I press diameter, I'm choosing the diameter. Then again, second diameter, length. If I were to choose vertical, what this simply means is it wants me to select the height or length of the tube in a different viewport because what I'm actually doing is selecting it vertically, which from the top viewport is looking straight down, which means I am unable to tell from this angle how long my tube's going to be. Okay, now what about the torus? Well, torus, we're going to left click there. Again, we start with center. It's, this can be anywhere. And then the thickness, just like our tube. Except that now we're creating a ring shape. And so there's our torus. Again, with the torus, I have different selections here. Vertical, diameter, three-point. Vertical and diameter is going to work pretty much the same, no matter which solid tool you're working with. So let's try three-point. It's going to ask me for the first point, the second point, then the third point is going to pass through the other two. The closer you make the circle to the other two points, the more centered it is, the smaller the shape. So I'll click there, and now again, I'm designing the thickness. When I left-click, I'm finished.